here we are with the main gold episode seven and yeah last episode we saw the whole thing with the may being somewhat controlled being in her demonic form and killing alto basically and then reviving alto and so then we saw that they had some like differences because of that that the may is like yeah i'm a monster you saw how i truly are and i don't want to be around you because I'm bad and you're good and all that stuff didn't really still didn't really enjoy it from like two episodes ago um and maybe they cleared the differences now or not we will see I guess and so yeah I guess we will see what happens next if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think about this episode and I would say let's get to the episode Still with the open shirt. <laughs> nice view. I love it. Imagine you're laying there and just wake up and see that. Indeed. Me too. He dreams about me. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting what, to see what happens next, right? If she is still like on the side where she's like, I'm bad, I shouldn't be here. Or if maybe the end of last episode really resolved all the issues when he basically, when Alto basically said, I want you at my side now and forever. <clears throat> I want to go back to the happy times where they don't have conflicts. Uh, yeah, like the last two episodes really dragged it down for me a little bit. <clears throat> because, like I said, I, I feel like it was completely unnecessary. They could have done it in a different way. What they could have done maybe is that there's like a big threat and they have to fight it and the may has to go all uh, has to go all out and goes into her demonic form and then and then maybe because she goes all out somehow alto gets hurt and then she revives him and then it happens and she's like yeah you saw how I really am um but the may getting controlled somewhat and all that stuff I think that was dumb but okay here we go confession Of course. Oh my god. Because they're dumb. What? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Here we go, that's why. So they don't know that she's a demon yet. At least the normal students, not. She loves her sweets. But I think in this case it maybe won't make a difference, really. Is she running around the whole time with the open top? Alto told me, I mean, she was right there. She could have seen it, right? Okay, very nice. Being a demon is like nothing. Child's play. <laughs> I guess Lilia can become a demon too when it's about Alto.
Does she know? Does she know why Alto is fine? <laughs> now she just wants Alto's sweet mana juice. Baka. This is so interesting, right? I mean, it makes sense, like, that Lilia is not afraid of her. It would be weird if she would be afraid of her, because she's a demon, right? Um, but it's still interesting that demons are basically the big bad, right? And then she's here and she's like, yeah, you're a demon, so what? I mean, that's true, right? She likes Alto. But she's afraid that she's not good for Alto. Giving the good advice here. Not a. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Lean on him. With the booba. <laughs> Imagine someone comes around and is like, why does this girl have horns? <laughs> And a tail. Actually. A demon. A succubus. A loot demon. Because she stalks Alto. And wants to go into his room. Oh, is she back? Still the horns out. And she's really running around with the open top the whole time. <clears throat> Confession? Oh. Come on. My heart feels fuzzy. <laughs> God damn. I guess Alto would be fine with that. <laughs> Just be yourself. Oh, here we go. Alto feels the same way. Come on, say it. <laughs> so considerate. And now kiss. You need to lean on me. And I need to lean on you. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Say it. Say it. I want you. <laughs> ah, here we go. Yes. 
do it. <laughs> Probably not what Alto expected. And we do the non mana one. Yes, let's go. I missed you. <laughs> This is the stuff I want to see. Let's go! <laughs> and now the sweets. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, <laughs> holy hell, bro. Uh, it's <laughs> just the black dots. God damn it, dude. But it looks good on her, I would say. Something I'm wondering about is the bloom uh, is the blue is the golden mana coming from Alto or from or from the May. I'm still not certain about it. <clears throat> oh, who's this? White hair, witch girly. Okay, the ones. Oh, he has a sting. So these are the ones that scheming behind the. In the background. So is the paper his familiar, maybe? <laughs> Big Booba. Elio. Yeah, I don't like him. What the hell? Or oh, is that as familiar? A platinum square revoked. Heaven's will. Yolit and platinum square Heliodor, the conveyor. Okay, so these are big guys, basically. And people are staring. Of course. <laughs> yeah, they're happy again. Oh yeah, why? I don't know. Also, we are so happy that you brought her back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, he becomes the star of the school. <laughs> I mean, I understand them, right? Okay, new character introduction, maybe? Oh, <laughs> the undecided ones.
Ja, yeah, wenn May ist in tip top shape. Mhm. <laughs> so I wonder, how many people know that she is now actually a demon? Because so far we see we have seen nothing of the student council, right? If they know. Guessing? Here we go. Oh my god. The short skirt. <laughs> Was this a non mana one? <laughs> Oh my god! Bruh! Dude, I would explode. Just one more. <laughs> mm hmm. Forgot to kiss. Student council, maybe? I think so. Yep. Are they coming for Alto? And they're also emotionless. <laughs> Of course. That's a crazy look, I would say. <laughs> I guess they know. So is it harmless or troublesome? I guess harmless? Mm -hmm. Interesting look on her face. She always has these weird looks. So maybe they don't know about the May. Oh, of course. Makes sense. Or maybe he could help. I guess the May can because Alto was dead at that point. Oh, this is about the May. She has always these crazy eyes. Oh, here we go. So it's not harmless. And she let her guard on again. Always. Damn. And then she goes on a rampage again. Could they stop her if she goes on a rampage? <laughs> so it wouldn't be in their best interest to harm Alto, I would guess.
so they maybe had suspicions but weren't sure about it. Good. She's like, slow down, buddy. I have a sword on your neck. Yeah. I wouldn't give up on the May too. <laughs> okay. So it was somewhat harmless. Okay, interesting, why? Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, makes sense. I completely forgot that detail. That if Alto dies, that she dies too. So, of course, when I said... Is it in the best... If, if it's in the interest to harm Alto, I completely forgot that it's detail. Yeah, she is weird. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you thought about this episode. But yeah, it's more like back on track, I would say, right? It's more like happy bonding time a bit. And I mean, the beginning, not quite, right? Uh, the May needed some alone time because she was still a bit uncertain. But while she was alone, she missed Alto already. And then Lilia came around. And it's, I mean, it's it's this typical thing that technically... Demons are seen as bad things in this world, right? And then Lilia comes around and is like, yeah, if you're a demon or not, that's whatever. It depends if you're good or bad. That determines if you're good or bad. Um, which, I mean, it makes sense, right? Um, but yeah, it, it makes sense that like one of the main characters has this open-mindedness, right? It would be weird if Lilia would be like, you're a demon, you're bad, stay away from Alto. And it would, a bit, would be a bit conflicting, right? So it makes sense that uh, main characters like open-minded like that but many are not um like for example the student council at the end where two are like yeah she's a demon but well alto and her life are intertwined so if we if it becomes a problem we just kill alto and that's fine and then this orange-haired student council is just like but she's a demon so that's bad so some see a use in it and the other one is like yeah but it's bad right um we can trust her and otherwise i mean the beginning, like I said, more like still a bit differences between Alto and Vermeer, and then towards the middle of the episode, they came back together, and it's back to happy time, which I like. That's what I like to see in this anime, happy bonding time between Alto and Vermeer. And then we also got introduced to, like, the two characters, which are... I guess there is more than just the two that are like scheming in the background, um, which are both Platinum Square, so they're basically the highest of the highest in terms of like mages, but they are revoked, so I guess 
because they do bad shit. They are revoked, I guess, because of that reason. And we still don't know much about them, right? We still don't know what their deal is. We still don't. We still don't need anything about this paper thing. Um, so I guess we have to see what happens with those. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I guess that's pretty much the episode, right? There wasn't much else going on. And something I missed from last episode to mention in the, at the end of last episode is basically um, when the maid told Alto that their lives is intertwined, he was fine with it. To the point where the maid's like, yeah, but if you die, I die too. That's what hit him, right? <laughs> because he doesn't want that. Because he knows he's a human, he will die eventually. And when he dies, the maid dies, which he doesn't want because she could live way longer. So that's what hit him. But if the maid dies, that he dies, that's what's fine for him. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah. Typical stuff, right? It's it's, But it was, I think, interesting to mention. Um, but yeah, this episode, like I said, nothing else really to mention, I would say. Basically somewhat back on track, but also like introduction of like the new bad guys maybe that are like behind the scenes. And well, the student council that they know. I mean, they didn't knew. They just has had suspicions and wanted to clarify that their suspicions are true, that the maze is a demon. Also, the student council president with the silver hair, she always has those crazy eyes, right? Even She either has like this death stare or like some crazy looks, right, all the time. So I'm very interested to find out more about her um, because she seems very suspicious. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you thought. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.